Even though the mighty GoPro continues to set the benchmark when it comes to high performance action cameras, the influx of cheap third party units make choosing a budget level camera a tough nut to crack. We've taken a close look at one of the better budget action cameras in the past, the Dazny P2, which turned out to be a fantastic performer given its low price point, although it still had a few missing features. Add those features in and we get this, the Dazny P2 Plus. The Dazny P2 by Dazny Showtime maintains a low price point but fits comfortably into the upper end of the budget action camera market in terms of quality. Keep all those positive specs and add a few extra and the result is the Dazny P2 Plus. Now with a new Novatec chipset delivering stronger performance along with wireless capabilities, the P2 Plus looks like it could be the perfect budget action camera. In comparison to the P2, users will receive a pretty bare package consisting of a user guide, the camera itself complete in waterproof housing along with a quick release buckle and thumbscrew, a 1000 mAh battery, a USB charging cable, a lens cap, and a couple of mounts with adhesive pads. Just like the original P2, the P2 Plus shares the same waterproof housing along with the same mounting point at the bottom, making it completely compatible with the GoPro mounting ecosystem. The top latch even opens much like a GoPro, providing easy access to the main camera unit. Weighing in at around 94 grams with a typical Dazny matte black stealthy look and a soft touch finish, other than the P2 Plus branding and a Wi-Fi indicator printed on the front button, along with a slightly redesigned lens surround, the P2 Plus replicates its predecessor in size, weight and shape. Users of the original P2 will feel right at home here, with the status and Wi-Fi LEDs at the front, a single power mode and a shutter button on the top alongside a microphone input and another LED, along with a second microphone input and LED on the bottom. A removable door on the left side reveals a micro SD card slot compatible with cards up to 64GB in capacity, a micro HDMI port for playback to an external display, and a mini USB port for charging and data transfer, as well as providing a means to attaching external microphones. Opening a door on the opposite side reveals a cavity for the included 1000mAh battery, which should provide around an hour of recording time, which is pretty standard with most action cameras of this type. Finally, we have the nice 2 inch display on the rear, which again isn't touch sensitive, although perfect for use as a live view or for changing camera settings. So it's pretty much identical to the original Dazny P2, although the main changes are on the inside. With a new Novatec chipset and a 4 megapixel f2 CMOS sensor, the unit not only now incorporates Wi Fi as standard, but also allows video recording up to 2K resolution at 30 frames per second, as well as 1080p at 60 and 720p at 120. Standard specs for most action cameras nowadays, but impressive for this unit considering its price point. Upon switching the unit on, the rear screen immediately displays a live view along with plenty of useful information across the top and bottom, such as current shooting mode, date and time, battery level and so on. Capturing video or images is as simple as any other action camera by pressing the shutter button to start and stop the recording process. Or the mode button to scroll between shooting modes. Using the shutter button to select options or enter menus, users are able to easily navigate through menus and select options such as resolutions and capture parameters with ease. As with the P2, the P2 Plus provides the same advanced options for adjusting white balance and exposure, even gyro image stabilization, which aren't seen on many other budget cameras of this nature. The menu system is identical to the predecessor, allowing the ability to adjust a variety of settings and features. Yes, a touch sensitive display would have been nice, but it's still easy to navigate and with a little practice users will come to know where to find each setting with speed and accuracy. The new addition in the menus is the Wi-Fi, which can also be accessed with the front dedicated Wi-Fi button. By enabling this users are able to connect to the camera using the freely available Dazny app, compatible with both iOS and Android devices. The app performs perfectly well. The live view does suffer from the lag most action camera users will have become accustomed to, but the connection remains stable and displays power, battery status and resolution options across the top, while the bottom has options for entering playback mode, as well as providing quick and easy access to changing camera modes, and most camera settings which all change pretty much instantly. 
All seems good when it comes to the camera itself, though it all comes down to performance. And I have to admit, with the Novatec chipset, it's certainly impressive. With resolutions up to 2K being available, though I can see 1080 at 60 being the most common for this unit, all at the standard wide, medium or narrow field of view, footage captured under good lighting conditions is crisp, sharp and full of colour. Under lower light conditions, users will find some artefacting that's typical of all action cameras, but throw in a little lighting and the unit still performs rather well considering the small sensor size. It's a similar story with the 12 megapixel images which are sharp, vivid and just as impressive, clearly on par with competing cameras. Audio can leave a little to be desired, a common problem with all action cameras which are primarily designed to capture video anyway, although the option for attaching an external microphone is present for those who need it. Overall, performance wise, I've been left rather impressed. The P2 Plus builds upon the already well established P2 with the same large 2 inch LCD screen and a mini USB port to use an external microphone as well as some more advanced level features such as manual auto white balance and exposure control. Now with a stronger Novatec chipset bringing higher shooting resolutions and frame rates as well as its wireless capabilities, which performed wonderfully well throughout testing, and above all else it delivers good video and image capture. All in all, just like the Disney P2, the P2 Plus is seriously impressive, especially at its low price point. Placed up against the budget GoPro Hero, I'd pick the P2 Plus any day of the week, with its abundance of extra features over the Hero, as well as video quality to match, it's a fantastic overall package. If you'd like to see a sneak peek of the reviews coming up on the channel, what I'm working to bring you at the moment, or just want to interact, hit me up on Twitter. You'll find a link in the description box below this video. 